Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for allowing yourself to just, you know, eat up this whatever it is, knowledge or just food for thought, anything that is going to bring positive light to your life that you weren't able to look at in a different way before, but now you're able to look at it in a different way, in a different light, is truly a blessing. And it's just allowing myself to heal as I'm making my videos, just opening up and being vulnerable towards you to know that you are not alone, you are not going Looney Tunes, and we all can connect, you know, and get through this together. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And to, um, if you're, I'm about to say, if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just opening up, telling me about your empathic gift and how it has impacted your life and set you towards a positive direction. Or if you feel like the video has just been very informative to you or gave you good vibes, you feel like, hey, you know, I might want to go share this with somebody. You know, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel, showing me love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. And the music that I'm listening to today is 432 Hertz, Heal Your Aura, Boost Positive Energy, Theta, Binary Beats, Positive Mindset. And I will post that link in the description box below. Has these little chimes in the background, like the, you know those little chimes you hear outside your grandmother's house, or you know outside your next door neighbor's to your aunt's or your uncle's house, and the older folks over there got the little chimes and stuff like that. I always used to love those on my grandmother's porch. But anyways, the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, we are survivors. Yes, we truly are. We are survivors. We have endured so much hell. On top of that, we're soaking up and you know like it is it's attracting we attract all the crazy energy <laughs> along the way so you know that you survived a lot of hell you have endured things that a lot of people ordinary people would not have went through you have to give yourself a pat on the back you truly do you know because there's sometimes we can be our own worst enemy and be hard on ourselves like you know what i'm not doing good enough if you feel like you're not doing good enough push yourself to do harder if you feel like you're getting lazy motivate yourself to do something different change you know if you know you're on a goal or you have something set in your mind like if you you know you do a short-term goal long-term goal even though i hate doing stuff like that but if you're that type of person that you know write stuff like that down and you're getting bored with what you're doing you know change the aspects of it you know make it fun a little bit something that can you know draw your interest to doing things that's gonna you know make you go on a level up you know move up in its food chain or you know, whatever you want to call it milestone you know but it, it's just like we have we have gone too far to go back in to our old ways or you know turn back and go to our towards our past you know and we keep looking at our past when we've got so much blessings to look forward toward the future and you know and i tell myself this all the time you know we can't be you know boohooing about the things that happen even though what i went through was very tragic but that's not what i'm about you know i, I have so many positive blessings that i'm bringing towards my life you know it's just with y'all being extended family, showing me love all the time. It's just like you're telling me, Rosalyn, don't ever stop making your videos. You keep pushing these videos out. You're helping me in more ways than I know. And I hear that a lot. And people don't know. I mean, but that makes me cry when I hear stuff like that because it makes me feel like, you know, I'm doing something. I always said as a little girl, I want to be able to make an impact in somebody's life, be able to change them as I'm changing myself. And it's just not like, changing your was well, like changing your mindset when it comes to you know negative things because we can focus on so many negative things that's going on in our lives so many things is going on around us we would miss out on the good things that are coming on you know coming through our lives or coming on to our lives whatever 
because it's just like I can be focused on, you know, the things that, you know, when you're ready to, you know, just start, you know, your life over again and you're ready to start something new and you're just so ready to jump start towards that end so you can get on to that next level, but you're not appreciating every step of the way. You, you have to be able to enjoy every step that you go through just to know that you survived all these mishaps, you survived all this trauma that's going on in your life, things that, you know, we, we never felt like we can get through. We never felt like we can make it through. But it's a blessing when we're able to do that. You have to give yourself a pat on the back because it's like, like I said, we are our own worst daggone enemy, I'm telling you. Because there's sometimes, like, I feel like, you know, well, not right now. Well, I don't even feel like that no more. But when I first started, I said, do I have what it takes, you know? Do I have what it takes to really get there? Because, you know, we always got to start from the bottom. You know, some people are blessed to be able to make it like that overnight. You know, I'm not one of those type of people. But it let me know, you know, if anything was to happen, I can say, you know what, I worked my butt off to get where I got. You know, if I, you know, if I get something and it's a big blessing to me, I know I deserved it because I worked hard for it. I took, you know, those no's and, you know, you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do this. It, it, you know, when you hear no, it's the next opportunity. I don't feel like no is no. No means another opportunity to me. That makes me go through, okay, you, just because you said no, I'm going to go ahead and do it another way. Just, you know, somebody might tell me yes on this one. So that lets you know when you know you can just like, when you get frustrated and you know you're heading towards something, you know you survive things and you're ready to get on towards your next blessing, but you know everything we go through is an experience. I tell you that all the time. It's a lesson and a blessing for us. We have to take heed on what the things, you know, our downfalls, what did it teach us? You know, when our, when we have been delayed on things, what did I, that teach us? What lesson did that bring out of it? You know, we can't sit up here and be pissed about it all the time. You have to look at it and say, okay, what did I do wrong for me not to be able to have that? And it might not be something that you have done. It might not even, your blessing might just not be ready for you right now. Because it's just like when you're heading towards something that's good for you, God wants to make, God in the universe wants to make sure it's just perfect, just right, just for you at that right, perfect time. So like I said, when you're heading towards your, you, you know, your blessings and you know you've been delayed on stuff, just work on yourself. Work on yourself around you so you know when you when you get that blessing, you know everything's going to be tight on you and you'll be straight. So it's just like when you step out here. And you can sit up here and voice your story saying, you know what, I've been through this, this, and this, and this, and that. And I survived this, this, and this, and that. And now I'm a voice to whatever. And people are going to look at you like, dang. They done went through this. And they made it through this. And they didn't do anything. You know, and when you hear people's story like that, you don't know what kind of impact you can have on somebody's life because you never know what that next person is going through what kind of voice you can have and i say that all the time because it's true you never know because so so many of us are worried about what the next person is going to think or how they're going to take us i can't worry about stuff like that <laughs> i can't because it's like last time i checked this is my channel you know i'm not asking people you know i ask people hey you know come check out my channel it might be something that you really want to get into you know if you're an empath or you're going through some spiritual awakening and you're confused about things hell we all confused about stuff i'm confused about it but i you know i'm doing my research and voicing everything to y'all about it so, you know, just know that you survive. You, you are a survivor towards many battles and many trials and tribulations. And give yourself a pat on the back. Don't be so hard on yourself and knowing whatever you're going through at this permanent time or this current time is not a permanent situation for you. Almost got that back. You know, pulling the hay open thing. Here's Irma. She want to come and say hi to her as well. She got to come get her little attention. But I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video today. Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. Or even it's about you getting to know me as much as you're, you know, you know, I'm getting to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or just dropping me a line. Tell me about your impact and gift. Or, you know, give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on your social media favorites. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love and light. And namaste to you. Peace. And be wild.